today a customer dropped off a vehicle it's a 2014 Chevy Traverse and it's uh, shaking really really badly up, up above about 30 miles an hour uh, so I took it out and test drove it uh, first thing is uh, looked at uh, misfire data on the snap-on scanner to just to rule out that there was no uh, misfire counters rising while I drove it and it was no misfires at all and everything was good so uh, next step on uh, checking this vehicle uh, if you have something like this come in is to uh, look at I said, oh, I, well, I'd be suspecting the uh, torque converter clutch is shuddering. So I got up on the uh, snap-on scanner, uh, the uh, torque converter clutch uh, command, and then also the, uh, the torque converter clutch uh, slip RPM, and then the uh, engine RPM, and uh, see if we can uh, see when it starts shuddering uh, what the uh, graphing does on the snap-on scanner. And so let's check it out. All right, so I am at idle here. And we have our, the first uh, columns, torque converter, clutch, uh, pressure, command. And then we've got torque converter uh, slip. And of course it's gonna be a, a high slip right now because uh, we are just sitting in drive. And then the uh, engine RPM, which is gonna match that slip pretty closely. And then when we start driving it, uh, these uh, values are going to change. And let's see what we got here. Okay, so I just stopped the vehicle. And then here we're gonna take off. Right there, the uh, torque converter clutch just uh, commanded on, and then we're just shaking pretty badly right now. It's a little more apparent when you kind of get it out at a steady speed, and then it'll continually sit, kind of shudder on and off as it's uh, duty cycling and the uh, torque converter clutch can't hold. So we did it in the beginning, but it didn't do as much at cruise. Let's try it again, slow down again, and then try taking off, try to find that sweet spot. So right there, we had some good shakes. And what we're looking for is just a little bit of oscillations in that graph when I was, okay, huge one right there. It looks like it commanded it off and then commanded it back on again and there was a massive shake right on entry into it. So right there we had a little bit of shake and you can see some uh, movements on the graph as it went in uh, as we were holding a completely steady throttle on the torque converter clutch uh, slip speed. So that is be diagnosing uh, torque converter clutch shutter on a 2014 Chevy Traverse with a six-speed uh, automatic transmission. At least Chevy was nice enough to give us a dipstick on this vehicle. You can actually check it without uh, putting it up on a lift. Uh, the uh, location it looks almost like a uh, oil fill cap. Uh, you just uh, uh, unscrew that and uh, you, as you can see the uh, Transmission uh, dipstick check level is right there. Engine uh, running in park. Uh, on this one, the fluid looked, eh, it looked okay. Uh, a little, little brown, but um, nothing terrible. As a side note, you can see the beautiful blue skies and it's February in Washington state. I can't believe it. It's actually not currently raining right now. So when you have a, an issue like this, uh, usually the uh, recommended, I mean, you could try doing a service and flush on the transmission. Sometimes when the fluid is broken down, uh, doing a service and flush with a good new fluid can fix it. Uh, but my experience has been typically when it's this bad of a shutter, uh, that usually it's transmission replacement uh, is going to be required. Uh, because there is uh, hydraulic integrity issues with inside the transmission itself and that's of course causing that torque converter clutch not to hold good enough uh, which means then it starts slipping uh, because it's not getting the proper pressure to it and then ultimately torque converters failed and you know internals in the transmissions has failed as well.